Hey guys, I've got the six Kaleidos. Uh, what is the specific name for these? Um, ba -ba -ba the Kaleidos Epiphany Glow Melt On Eyeliners. So these are like the uh, the multi-chrome eyeliners that they just came out with. And I'm trying to mess with my lighting a little bit because I don't know how I'm going to be able to catch the shifts in these very well. <laughs> So just bear with me, please. I'm gonna try and do this as best I can. And I think I'm gonna swatch them on my palm just because usually when you swatch them on a curved surface, you can catch the shifts a little bit better. So the first one is Solaris. So they have some pretty cool um, packaging. The outside, it's kind of just multicolored and it's a twist up eyeliner. So this one, is a pretty shifty one. It's kind of like copper and green, and I'm gonna see how I, they're also really hard to get off, so like this is gonna be on my hand for a long time <laughs> afterwards. So yeah, it's kind of like an orangey copper, and it shifts green, and it looks like it's picking up pretty good. It's, com it's coming up more reddish on camera than it is in person. It looks more orangey on in person. But I figure maybe the bigger the swatch I do, the more chance you'll get to see the shift. They do go on pretty smoothly, and like I said, they do not want to come off, so they're, they stick really well. I don't know how great this is going to capture here. I don't know how people do it where they can get all the shifts. Like, I've even tried to look into how to photograph multi-chrome stuff, because it's so hard. I'm, like, I have the lights off in this room right now, except for the ring light, and it doesn't seem to be helping all that well. So that is the Solaris one. Hopefully you can see, catch some of the shifts. Because, like, I can see it in person, and then it never wants to capture when you're doing, like, a picture with your cell phone, or a picture with the DSL DSLR, DLSR, DSLR <laughs> camera. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the next one, I kept them in their boxes so I could tell which was which because, oh, they do say it on them, but they have tiny, tiny labels. Like, I can barely read that. So this one is Sea Sparkle. And this one is more, more of a blue, blue and purple container. So this one... This one is not quite as shifty anyway, so I don't know how much is going to pick up on here, but this is just like an icy sort of blue. Not the most impressive one, but it is nice and smooth. I'm going to try and move my hand every which way here. It is very metallic though. Um, let's see. This one is Seven Seas, and this one is green and purple on the outside, a little bit of blue. Again, kind of lime green in the packaging, in the tube that is. And this one is like shifts lime green and yellow. And then on the camera, it looks like it's gold, so I'm hoping at the end, once I've swatched all six of them, I'm going to grab my cell phone, too, and see if I can get some different, some different light in here to try and catch more of the shifts. But that is that one. And then we have Limelight. It's another one that has a blue and green packaging. This one is a darker green than the last one I just swatched. This one is very bold. Just this metallic green. Shifts blue, green, and like I see a little bit of yellow in there. It definitely shifts more than the lighter one but it's a different green and a different yellow, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, you can obviously see this one is more of a 
light green and this is a bolder green, but I think this is probably my second favorite one, and I'll show you my favorite one in a minute. But that one's very shifty and very pretty. And a color I'll definitely wear all the time because I like greens a lot. I have brown eyes, so I like to wear green a lot uh, when it comes to eyeliner. And then we have tourmaline. So this one has some pretty packaging. It's got like turquoise and then pink and green. And this is my favorite one out of all of them as far as like the way it shifts and stuff. Because it is a light one, but it's like pink and orange and all. See, this is so weird. It looks very pink when I'm looking at the viewfinder, but in person I'm seeing like a pale orange shifting to pink. So weird. Like I said, I'm gonna grab another light source in a minute and try and mess around with this. But there's that one, and then the last one is Night of Creation. And this one has like a dark blue and purple. So all of the components themselves are different, which is pretty cool. And this is a nice like violet blue purple. This is another one that's very shifty. It's not very like opaque though. It's like you can see as I'm drawing it on, you can probably see through it a little bit, but it is very pretty. It's got, it's just a very bold, vivid violet with a little bit of a blue shift to it. So I would say the ones that shift the most in color are those three middle ones, because this one shifts a little bit, and then that, that one's not meant to shift a lot at all, I don't think, because it's just a metallic blue, even in person. And then this one doesn't shift very much either, it's just kind of an iridescent bold purple with a little bit of a blue when it hits the light. So I'm going to grab my phone and see if I can get some of the different shifts here. So that seems like it might help a little bit, let's see. I'm gonna put it in closer. <laughs> and see if I can kind of manipulate the the phone around. Yeah, see, there we go. You can see on that bottom one that helped a lot. So you can see the... Oh, how was I holding it? I had it really good a second ago. You can see the shifting blue and kind of pinky violet in that bottom one. I'm trying to get the top one, because the top one shifts a little bit too. It just doesn't want to show up great. God, I, I need to know people's secrets on how to photograph these better. <laughs> That's why I hate showing multi-chrome stuff so much, because it's so hard to show how pretty it is in person. That bottom one is shifting a lot now that I'm doing it this way. But like the other ones aren't doing it much. Maybe I'll notice more once I'm editing this, but as far as I can tell, the other colors aren't wanting to, if I stand up and kind of rotate. If I rotate around my cell phone light, Trying to get every angle possible so that you can see as many shifts as you can. But I'm sure there's people other than me that have way better swatches than this, but I'm trying to show the best I can how much they shift. My favorite two are definitely these two. Um, like I said, that one's really pretty, but not as impressive as the others. And I really like the bottom one a lot, but I feel like that's not gonna... I'm probably gonna have to use that over dark colors, because it's not very opaque. Like, I don't know if you can tell. It's not really showing up how kind of patchy it is in person. But like over here you can see where I tried to draw it on and it's kind of see-through. And then this one is coming up very red on camera, and I don't know why. 
it's just the way the light is, <laughs> I guess. I can mess with this too. Let me try and do different settings on my ring light. That's probably not going to help anything, but... Yeah, that's not helping much, but hopefully you can see some of the shifts. They are really nice eyeliners. I like the formula. Um, they are really hard to get off. I, The day I got them, I had swatched them all on the back of my hand, and I scrubbed it with soap and water. I used makeup remover. Um, I didn't use my cream makeup remover, though, that I usually use. I used, like, a, a micellar one. Um, and then I took a shower and I still had them on the back, the back of my hands and they weren't even that faded. So I think the only thing that is going to take them off good at all is like the stuff I usually use to take off my makeup, which is a, oops, <laughs> a cream type, cream to oil makeup remover. But see, even with this, and this stuff takes off everything. This is the, the farm, uh, is it pharmacy? What is this called? Yeah, the pharmacy green clean. Okay, I had to sit on there a little bit, but it takes everything off. And that was a little bit difficult for that to even get off. Ooh, it looks like rainbow holographic now that it's all mishmashed on my hand but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, these are really pretty I can't wait to play with them more it's like eight o'clock at night and there's still a bunch of traffic going by I don't know why but um let me know if you grabbed anything from this new collection I didn't get their eyeshadows or anything the only other thing I have from Kaleidos is their um, their highlighters the, I got the set of their multi-chrome highlighters. I've never tried their eyeshadows. I'm kind of interested in them because I really like all the other stuff I have from them. But um, these took a really long time to get here. I want to say it was oh, my, like three weeks, something like that. I'm not sure where they were coming from. It said like the tracking started overseas and it was weird because when I had ordered when I had ordered the set of highlighters I can't even remember what the highlighters are called. The Space Age highlighters. I got the big, you can't even see this, the set of them, the encyclopedia. They came in like two days. So I don't know if they just ship from different places or what, but these eyeliners, I ordered them on the release day because I made sure I set an alarm because I wanted these so bad. Um, I ordered them on release day and they took like three weeks to get here. So maybe that's why, I don't know. But once it came, the, uh, the shipping label was from like California or something so I don't know why it started overseas but whatever I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one